Good day. My name is Keith McKinnon. We're in Milford, Massachusetts, and we have another episode of Masonic Curators to present to you today. And today's episode, Masonic plaques. Now, for those who are, you guys who are Masons, you know, you go into your buildings, you always going to see plaques on the walls. For those of you who are not Masons, you know, go on eBay, uh, Etsy, uh, any auction site, you're going to find Masonic plaques up for sale. And they came in, uh, were given for a number of reasons, uh, appreciation of service, uh, membership, uh, joint ventures between Masonic bodies or other fraternal organizations, um, a whole host of different reasons plaques were given away. And I've seen them done on plastic, brass, metal, wood is the most common plaque uh, with a nice brass plate on them. I've seen them with all types of Masonic emblems on them. I've seen them with gavels on them. I've even seen one one time with a old Kodak camera mounted to it that was presented for years of appreciation service to a brother uh, as a district, uh, district photographer uh, here in Massachusetts. But today, I brought you this unusual plaque. Now, I found this online a number of years ago and purchased it uh, for the specific purpose of displaying it uh, for the collection at Cambridge, Massachusetts that we once had. Uh, it's rather unusual. It is all metal. Uh, it's not that old. It does date from 1964. Uh, it's rather large, rectangle uh, in shape. It's not a mounted type of plaque, uh, so I'm not exactly sure how the individual displayed it uh, at his home. Uh, but it was given for appreciation for his services uh, by the Grand Council uh, of Michigan. So, for you cryptic Masons, and for those people who out there who don't understand Masonic terminology, a cryptic Mason is a Mason who belongs to a group called the Royal and Select Master Masons or Masons of a particular jurisdiction. And that is part of the York Rite of Freemasonry. But you <clears throat> cryptic masons would recognize that. Number one, I believe it's faded a little bit. Uh, this would have been more of a purple. Purple is the color of cryptic masonry. Uh, in Freemasonry, certain colors coincide with Masonic bodies, such as Blue Lodge, a Masonic Lodge is Blue Lodge, uh, Chapter is red. Uh, council is purple, uh, and colors go with other Masonic bodies. So this has faded a little bit. But again, for you cryptic Masons, if you take a look at the plaque, you may recognize something right away as I did when I saw this online and had to buy specifically for this purpose. Now, in cryptic Masonry, we know about the broken triangle. Now, if you look at this plaque, it is rectangle, it's not a triangle, but you'll notice that the outside border is a broken border. Very unusual that they've done this. Someone put some thought into this when they had it made. So it's not a broken triangle, but it is a broken recti rectangle. Um, now, it was given to Brother Donald Dale, I hope I pronounced his name correct, Boldman. Um, he was born in Vicksburg, uh, Kalamazoo County in Michigan on July the 8th, uh, 1905, and he di died there December the 22nd, 1979. He was a member of Anchor Lodge number 87, Kalamazoo, 1927. He was actually a charter member and member of the Legion of Honor of Mackenzie Demolay chapter of Michigan, and he was made a 33rd degree in 1963. He became General Grand Master of the General Grand Council in 1963, and this was given to him by the Grand Council of Michigan on May of 1964. Now, again, this coincides a little bit with our past episodes of doing some research, 
Uh, by doing his research, we found out that he was a charter member of his DMLA, Legion of Honor, 33rd degree Mason. But I sort of stopped doing research on him because I contacted the Grand Lodge of Michigan Library and Museum Committee and asked them that since our collection at Cambridge, uh, Massachusetts no longer exists, would they be interested in such a piece? And they wrote back to me right away and said, yes. So next week, this piece gets shipped off to Michigan where it belongs. So folks, if you have something, you didn't pay a lot for it, it's unusual, uh, you may know where it came from. Um, you know, various Grand Lodges uh, do have museums uh, in a lot of these jurisdictions, and they may be interested in some un of the unusual items to have back to place in their collection. So, um, Michigan, I hope, will be thankful and will enjoy this. We'll clean it up, maybe do a little bit more um, research work on uh, companion Donald here, and will be eventually placed in their collection and perhaps put on display. So from us at Masonic uh, Curators, the crew, uh, we are happy to donate this to the uh, Grand Lodge of Michigan's Library and Museum Committee. With that, we also thank you very much for watching. Please, if you're watching some of our episodes, go back, watch some of our past episodes. Remember, if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe. Uh, we're well over a thousand uh, subscri uh, subscriptions right now. <clears throat> our videos come out every Monday. Um, and if you're interested in seeing something, uh, give us a comment. We'd love to hear your comments anyways, whether or not we're doing good, we're doing bad, what you want to see, what you don't want to see. Um, but let us know. You can leave a comment uh, on our YouTube page. You can leave a comment on our Facebook page or our email. It's all one word. Masonic Preservation Society at gmail.com. So with that, take care and thanks.